friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank god welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber god bless you for returning back here to watch my videos i really appreciate much for your love and your support but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload on this channel so dear friends i know most of you expected part three of pamela's love story but i promise you guys that next time i am going to be sharing part three of pamela's story so today i decided to share with you a video that i promised you recently when i was sharing i think a story time because i have noticed that i keep on promising you videos and those videos never come due to that we keep getting new stories and i know you guys enjoy a lot story times <laughs> but we also need to have a time when we get to only concentrate on the tips because most of the times you come with your questions and when i tell you that i shared that in one of the story you'll be like what kind of a story <laughs> and because i share lots of stories sometimes i don't remember even what kind of a story so i just tell you go and watch the stories but i've got lots of stories <laughs> so that is why i've decided to come today with this video so the video will be about whom to block on online dating apps or when to block a guy that you are chatting to on online dating apps or when to block a guy that you are in a relationship with but you found that guy on online dating apps so when should you block him when should you take your attention away from that guy because again you guys have been coming on my dm <laughs> asking me bella can i block this guy bella what can i do is it okay to block him so from this video i am sure he won't come back again to ask me bella should i block this guy and this is going to save you from wasting your time and disappointments yeah so without wasting much of your time let us jump into this video so dear friends we take an example you are on online dating apps searching for true love searching for a guy to love you truly you know <laughs> treat you right the way you deserve to be treated a guy that will love you forever till god decides so while you are browsing through men's profiles, you come across a guy's profile. He is a white guy and maybe you're interested in interracial relationships. So you decide to make that first approach. Like I have been advising you guys that you have to make the first approach. Don't wait only on the guy's side to be the one to approach you because you can wait and wait and wait and maybe it will take longer <laughs> till that right guy comes your way but if you keep sending messages who knows you might come across a guy who is interested in you and you begin your love journey so you send that first message to that guy and then the guy responds to you but his response turns out to be something that you did not expect this guy starts telling you i wonder what is wrong with black women who told you i am interested in black women black women always praise white men what is wrong with you guys you know like he is attacking you he's giving you a racist vibe <laughs> so when you come across that don't get offended don't take all the words that he told you and start being like white guys are bad <laughs> i no longer want to search for a white guy because not all white guys are like that what you need to do is block block immediately because if that guy was not interested in dating a black woman why would he even go on afro introductions a dating app that is for interracial couples <laughs> or why would this white guy go on a dating app that is full of black women he knows himself doesn't like black women is not planning to marry a black woman 
why be there? Because he wants to practice his racism on black women. That is why that white guy is in there in that dating app. The right thing to do is to block. Don't start like responding to him, you know, wanting to put some sense into him because it will never help. These people are sick here in the mind because <laughs> I've come across the other side too of black men who hate white men. <laughs> And they could come to attack me because I do videos sometimes I talk of white guys So I tried one time to put some sense into the guy, but it was just a wastage of time We spent something like an hour like back and forth back and forth but <laughs> This guy was still keeping on writing you know, a book to me. All the time I could open a message, it's a book. So you can never change the way they think. Instead of wasting your time, blog. Okay, dear sisters. So guys, I am still on number one. <laughs> so we have another case here. The first one, you are the one who approached this white guy and then he responded to you in a racist way. I told you, just block him. But in this case, you are on online dating app searching and then comes in a message from this cute white guy. <laughs> You start chatting, everything goes on well, the communication is flowing, and you decide to go on WhatsApp. So normally we know, us who have been on online dating apps, when you move to WhatsApp, <laughs> the communication becomes deeper and wider, if you guys are interested in each other. So as the communication becomes deeper and wider, you talk of different things, different topics, in your conversation, this guy starts making negative comments, racist comments towards other black people. Not to you directly, but to other black people. Guys, when you hear that, that's a huge red flag. Please, please end the communication with that guy. No explanation. Because if you ignore it, everything goes on well between you and maybe you get married to this guy, one day it's going to be your turn. Yes. And who knows the intentions of that guy chatting with a black woman. Because his negative comments towards black people, it's clear enough that he does not like black people. So if you ignore it and then you get married, he will one day practice his racism on you. Guys, you know that I don't make up stories. Everything that I come to tell you here, it's because either I have experienced it myself or through my experience helping other black women. So there is this black African woman who found love on online dating apps and then yes, later on got married to this guy. I came to know the story in the late stages, you know, when I cannot do anything, I can't change anything. <laughs> you know, it was really, really late. And what this lady has been going through, it's a lot. It's a lot, guys. I won't go so deep into it for now, but surely one day, yes, we will come here and tell her story. I think maybe herself. <laughs> because it has been a lot. So at first, when she could come to me, tell me how her husband treats her, I used to tell her, girl, this guy is a racist. The things that he is doing to you now clearly shows that he is a racist. He used to even talk bad about Africa. So for me, that was a red flag. So things kept on, you know, degenerating. And as I'm talking right now, like recently, this guy was telling her, you are just a monkey in Africa dying to come to Europe. Imagine guys, a guy that you married out of love is telling you you are just a desperate monkey dying to come to Europe. But for me, it's not a surprise because I had sensed already that the guy is a racist. He married that lady to practice his racism on her. That's it. 
not for love and i've been trying you know to talk to her open her eyes so that she can see this because yes she has been going through lots of torture but at the same time is in love with the guy yeah that's the sad part but let us keep on praying for her so that she can find the courage you know to move out of that toxic marriage so guys let us be very very careful i don't want any other woman to find herself in a situation like this to get married to a guy who is a racist is marrying you to torture you because he hates black people and some crazy people do it yeah because online dating apps exist guys that have got nothing to lose so you are no more you'll be like no why would someone pay lots of money to bring me to europe so that he can torture me they do <laughs> they do guys he can use all the tricks even if he's not capable of him bringing you himself to europe he will use the relatives the brother the sister you know anyone to sponsor you so that you can come when you come here he will do all bad things to you i'm not telling you all this to scare you but to shine your eyes because i love you so much and if you follow me i don't want like bad stories to be coming from people who watch me okay <laughs> so he talks bad about black people block on the spot and move forward so guys number two you are on online dating apps searching and really you're following all the steps everything that i've been advising you so you get a message from a guy you run into his profile you see everything you like it you know the bio the photos all is <laughs> so after chatting for a while this guy asks for whatsapp numbers and you start telling him no i can't give you the number now let us see how it goes he tells you okay so you keep chatting for some time and then later on you feel comfortable you exchange phone numbers with this guy meaning you move to whatsapp you start communicating on whatsapp and then you'll be like okay now it's time to make a video call because i advised you guys that make sure you talk on a video call with the guy that you are chatting to don't wait for so long don't chat with a guy for months and months without seeing him on a video call so you tell this guy we need to talk on a video call and then the guy is like no we can't talk on a video call starts giving you lots of excuses blah 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 you keep telling the guy we have to talk on a video call he keeps on avoiding the topic but what does this guy do he sends you very cute messages he sends you photos of everything that he does he even records videos of himself maybe at the gym telling you honey i miss you so much honey i love you so much but when you want to talk to him on a video call he puts a defensive wall <laughs> girl when you come across such kind of a situation block because that guy is a scammer that guy is a time waster i've told you guys that you have to be strong <laughs> yeah don't keep on entertaining nonsense number three these are the guys that you chat with on online dating apps everything is fine you exchange whatsapp numbers they start asking you for nude photos or they start asking you for virtual sex dear sister i know recently i shared some stories whereby white guys were asking for nude photos but eventually the stories worked out they worked out yes but those ladies never give in they never shared their nude photos with those guys they told the guys i cannot send you nude photos so if you think that me not sending you nude photos it is the end of our communication let it be that's why those stories became the successful ones okay <laughs> so you're chatting with this guy he keeps on asking you nude photos he keeps on asking you virtual sex you say no 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 you have told this guy like a million times but he keeps on insisting you talk you talk and then he's like i have understood after four days it's again same same story 
or he asks you for nude photos, you refuse, he starts reducing, you know, the way he was communicating to you. When you ask him, he's like, no, I've been busy. Dear sister, don't wait to be blocked. Dear sister, don't wait to be ghosted because that will be the end result of everything. This guy, it is clear he is only after your nude photos. It is clear he is only after virtual sex because most of these guys, they are very, very clever. They don't want to spend a thousand and thousands of dollars, you know, <laughs> chatting with ladies and paying them because exist apps whereby a guy pays and then you do virtual sex but because they want to do it at a lower cost he is going to pay for a dating app maybe for a year and start looking for ladies to send him nude photos for ladies to conduct virtual sex with him so you are not after that you are searching for true love online no need to waste your time don't be like maybe let me make him happy he is going to marry me he is going to be serious no <laughs> he will get that and after he gets used to you he's gonna move to another woman <laughs> that will accept so save yourself uh, from trouble <laughs> block 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 that is why most of the dating apps have got a blocking feature <laughs> you block and move on with your life so guys number four i hope we are number four number five okay number four <laughs> you are chatting with a guy and this one you think he is the one yes because due to the way you guys have been communicating, everything is going really smoothly. And this guy has even taken your relationship to the next step. Maybe introduced you to his friends. <laughs> Not his relatives yet, but to some of his friends, which is really important to a guy and in a relationship and maybe on your side you decided to introduce him to your friends or some of your relatives because you really trust this guy that he is the one and he has even planned to come to meet you in your country so there you're like oh, bella soon i'm coming with good news i'm the next to share the success story <laughs> So while you are there excited waiting on this guy, maybe Bella uploads a video and that video starts giving you like mixed feelings. <laughs> you decide to go on a dating app to see if your man is online. Then you find him online. You say maybe it's today. You go tomorrow, he is still online. A week after, the guy is still online. When you see that, don't wait, dear sister, for that guy to break your heart. Because <laughs> some of those guys are same, same guys like Pamela's story. So he is chatting with you, telling you good words, and you know he is the one. But... He is on online dating apps, chatting with other ladies, also assuring them that he is the one. He's going to go to their country, meet them, meet their parents, and eventually get married to them. But some of them are really, really clever. Maybe you are the first one, so he will give you his WhatsApp numbers. But the other ladies, two or three other ladies from different countries or in the same country, <laughs> won't be given the whatsapp number they will keep on chatting on a dating app till the day they will meet so that is why you'll see him online when you go there he is still online <laughs> so he will come to you you know enjoy the goodies go to those ladies enjoy the goodies when he returns to his country end of the story because there is no explanation guys that a guy is going to give me why is he still on online dating apps whereby he has found the one meaning me i am the one you are coming to see me you are coming to see my parents you know we plan our future why should you still go on online dating apps so don't wait for an explanation block 
But attention guys, <laughs> we have another case. You just started chatting with this guy and everything is going good, but this guy has not said I'm coming to see you. This guy has not promised anything. He is still getting to know you. And when you go on online dating apps, you see him, don't block him. <laughs> no, keep on searching too. Keep being on online dating apps too, until this guy decides and starts telling you, you know, serious things, starts giving you promises, starts telling you, I'm coming to see ya. <laughs> then that's when, when you see him online, you block. But if you haven't created like a very strong, concrete relationship yet, give him more time. Let me hope you have understood me on this. Number six, you are chatting with a guy, maybe you are still on a dating app, or you decided to move on WhatsApp, but this guy sometimes he ghosts you like for two weeks then he returns when he comes back he has got an explanation he has got an excuse why he was away <laughs> and some other guys same same these guys that always ghost you they don't have lots of conversation with you you are the one like putting lots of efforts into your communication guys don't wait for a guy to tell you I am not interested. If a guy is not giving you the same vibe that you want, end it. Block the guy. Move forward. There is no need to keep all those unserious guys on your WhatsApp <laughs> for no reason. Because if a guy goes on online dating apps to search for a serious relationship, he is going to stand for it. He is going to pursue it, you know? <laughs> He's not going to be ghosting you every after two weeks and comes back with an excuse. So in such kind of a situation, you don't need even to come to Bella to ask, should I block this guy or not? Block the guy. Never chase a guy. Please, please. Because when you start chasing a guy, yes, he will be doing like that and he'll keep doing that for even two years, you know? <laughs> You understanding and be like, I have a boyfriend, but there is a little problem. Sometimes he goes to me. That's a red flag. It's not even a small problem. Number seven, I really hate this. I hate it a lot. <laughs> I don't know why guys do it. So you are on the app. You find a guy. He is good. He has got everything that you ever wanted in a man. And you form a relationship, a very strong relationship. This guy is loving. This guy calls you every single day. This guy updates you on everything that he does in his life. When you need help, he is there, you know, to help you. Or sometimes you don't need even help. This guy supports you. You are there, you know. <laughs> in cloud nine, happy. <laughs> that you have found the one so you keep on communicating and this guy comes up with a topic of meeting he's like i want to be the one to come to visit you in your country and you're happy you know <laughs> that your man eventually is going to come so now it is december you are chatting with this guy it is december but tells you i am going to come in august 2024 you know almost eight months you know apart <laughs> you say it's okay no problem as long as everything is fine we love each other i can wait for you babes <laughs> so yes your communication continues nothing changes you keep waiting for this guy till august this guy tells you you know what I cannot come, something came up, I'm really, really sorry, but I am going to come next year, that is 2025, <laughs> September. <laughs> so in that case, dear sister, this is the truth. Tell that guy, stay where you are for those eight months. <laughs> I don't want to see you. <laughs> Block him. Because that's a wastage of time, really. Because September 2025 will come and this guy will give you another excuse. This is the truth. If you don't listen to me, let's wait till 2025 September. I'm here. <laughs> 
<laughs> you come to tell me the guy is giving me other stories here yeah? and i know some of you good-hearted women will be like bella but we need to be understanding yes you can be understanding you know he told you he's coming let's say in september he couldn't make it in september due to some things at least he should tell you okay i am going to push it to november or december that same same year <laughs> not september the coming year because you know when he tells you i'm coming in november or december it's a very small period of time that you can wait it's not a lot and if he's lying you'll catch his lies in a period of one month of waiting then you're waiting again for another one year and then comes stories it is going to break your heart you're going to waste a lot of your time i told you guys some of the white guys on online dating apps some of the black guys on online dating apps are only searching for a virtual girlfriend that's it he has no plans of ever meeting you put it in your head and a guy keeping you waiting for all that period of time <laughs> it's clear he treats you as his virtual girlfriend that is why in the communication everything is flowing you are not seeing any red flag he is so good at that but when it comes to meet you in real life because it is something that he will never do the problems arises so number eight guys this has happened to lots of ladies yeah some that i know and some that i don't know as you're watching this i know you'll be smiling so you find a guy online everything is super with the guy he plans to come and yes this guy comes to Africa or wherever part of the world you are watching me now <laughs> he comes to visit you for real and you're so happy but on his arrival this guy has got his own itinerary of where he is going to visit and being in Africa you know fascinates him he is so happy you know over the moon and all his concentration is on touring you know <laughs> he is treating his visit as a vacation he wants to visit all tourist places in your country but when you try to talk to this guy you know about your relationship between you this guy does not giving you a listening ear <laughs> dear sister just know that that guy is treating you as only an escort on his tour yeah there is no relationship between you guys let's shine our eyes <laughs> the guy's actions if you watch them so closely so clearly it will tell you a lot because i know some of you will be like okay it's time for me also to have fun he's paying everything that means he's a good guy he is paying yes because he is on a vacation <laughs> who else should pay for him <laughs> so that shouldn't make you feel like he is a caring guy no <laughs> he actually doesn't care about you he's interested only in your goodies he enjoys the goodies at a cheaper cost because this is the truth he will stay with you enjoy with you in all of his tour and when the tour ends he's gonna give you 200 euros or pounds or dollars <laughs> and you will be like without knowing oh my god my boyfriend is so good he left me with some money <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he just paid you dear sister for giving the goodies that you gave to him for a period of one month or three weeks this is something that has been happening to lots of women yes lots of so when a guy comes for you you have to see it on his arrival i shared pamela's story you remember his first visit to kenya refused pamela to go pick him at the airport boy you are coming for me so why would you stop me from coming to pick you at the airport 
<laughs> that clearly shows the guy did not come for you only yeah so this guy comes you go to pick him at the airport he goes to his hotel and as you guys talking you'll see this guy talking about the two of you yes even the things that he promised you while chatting with you online he will want to put them into actions we have seen how many white guys have been going to africa you know with the engagement rings we have seen so many white guys going to africa the first time they decided to pay for the bride price some even pay for a half of the bride price and promise to finish the other amount the other time he visits you or you visit him we have seen all this happening if you remember Abigail's story I shared a short clip of them <laughs> I'll see if I can find it to show you the reality the guy was in the village you know wearing slippers walking in the village trying to live the life that the girlfriend is living because guys if you are in an interracial relationship you don't have all that time to stay together to know each other so if this white guy is going to come to africa and tour 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 without concentrating on the two of you without concentrating on getting to know you without concentrating on you know getting to know your family how are you guys going to get to know each other better because there is no time and the flights are very very expensive so a serious white guy that wants a serious relationship when he comes to visit you he will only concentrate on you when you get married you can make all those tours that you want on your honeymoon <laughs> but first let's talk about our plans together let me hope these two you understand so if you see a guy came only to tour go back home and block the dude he will find another lady i'm so so sure <laughs> that will accept to be treated as an escort because you are not number nine guys reminds us of caroline's story i know this story touched lots of ladies so if you are on online dating app searching you come across a guy everything is good and bella advised you that you know when you are looking for love you know looking for love itself is so risky <laughs> so a guy invites you in his country go don't worry but make sure you know a guy very well before accepting to go visit him in his country but take that risk because if you guys are from different continents how are you going to meet <laughs> if you're not going to take that risk and i also added that it plays on your favor you're going to see the guy's life because you get to clarify everything that this guy told you about his personal life <laughs> or real life so this guy tells you i want to invite you in my country so that we can meet there and after hearing all that you become really excited but this guy tells you that i'm not going to send you the invitation letter or any document on my side if you want money i'm going to send you money if you want me to book for you a hotel here in my country where you're going to stay i am going to book for it but documents on my side i cannot send them to you i know maybe you are someone who is really desperate you know to be in a relationship with a guy or get to europe don't take that risk never ever when you see a guy is avoiding his name to appear on your visa application there is fire my sister <laughs> yeah, there is fire if you remember samantha's story ricardo went so crazy on her after knowing that samantha had written his name on her visa application though it is samantha that took a loan sponsored herself to italy but see what happened to her the guy abandoned her he wasn't a good guy that is why he got super mad after samantha writing his name on her visa application and with caroline we can remember very well a guy booked for a hotel for her sent her money but after arriving there the guy took her to his place and he did all the horrible things 
on her. In the end, we see what happened is the guy that goes away with it was never arrested because he said he found Caroline on the streets selling and his name never appeared on Caroline's visa application. Caroline was supposed to be at the hotel not at the guy's place so even if this girl lost her life in france this guy was still going to get away with it because there was nothing to connect this guy to caroline so if you find a guy he wants to invite you he should send all the required documents because when you present the documents to the embassy, they know their job. They go so deep to see if someone has got any criminal record and everything. Then allow you go to visit him. But if you didn't take your time to understand the guy very well, his character and all that, you can't blame the embassy because the embassy can't look the guy's character. <laughs> That is why you have to be careful before you accept, go visit the guy. But a guy who doesn't want his name to appear on your visa application, it's a red flag. That's a no-no. No matter what you have created together, block the guy, start afresh. Because you can always find that true love. So I will bring a part two if you guys still want to know whom to block or when to block a guy on online dating apps you just write me in the comment section below but for today i am going to end at point 10. so number 10 you are on online dating apps searching and then you come across a guy who seems serious and to you maybe this guy seems really good so you communicate everything goes well but when you start talking about meeting this guy tells you that you know what for now i don't have a job i am still looking for a job so you'll have to wait for me until i find a job or the job maybe that i'm doing right now you know it doesn't pay me that well so i can't manage for now to come visit you or invite you to my country you will have to wait i'm still trying to fix my life i am living with my sister or i'm still living with my brother or i'm living with my friends or my parents <laughs> guys let me tell you yes sometimes you know due to your kind hearted <laughs> you start feeling sorry and be like oh my god even if he is in that situation he really deserves to be loved so i am going to be there for him i am going to wait for him <laughs> Dear sister, I want to tell you the truth. You are only wasting your time. Because that guy is on online dating apps to search for emotional support, to search for someone to keep him company, you know, on his stressful life. He is trying to fix his life, okay? Not to search for a serious relationship that will lead to marriage eventually because we don't know when this guy will fix his life so instead of you being like oh my god only him that has been giving me attention i'm going to stick with him because everyone has been ignoring my messages or we chat they ghost me it's only him that has stayed so i have to stay too for him <laughs> No, dear sister, don't do that. Open your eyes. Because for a serious relationship to work, I told you, a guy needs to be financially stable for that relationship to be real. This is the truth. He doesn't need to be rich, no, but financially stable. So, for a serious guy, he will go on online dating apps when he knows that he can make that relationship work that long distance relationship but not a guy that goes on online dating apps as if his eyes were closed so it is surprise you have to invite me surprise you have to come for me <laughs> no <laughs> that's not a serious guy so when you see such kind of a guy is writing to you and maybe exchange phone numbers before knowing 
his situation better block yeah block him move forward don't even feel guilty please please because this is for your own good so today i'm ending here guys thank you so much for watching this video till now i really appreciate you much much may god bless you if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good comment below what you think about this video i would like to know if you want part two on whom to block on online dating apps let me know subscribe please if you have not subscribed i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.